Okay, we're taking another look at the case study computer. Let's pop it open. See what wonders lie inside. Uh -huh. Now it's time for Hurricane Zelda, I think. This how's this thing look? Okay. Impressive, I'm thinking. There is one obvious question that caused me, however, where to go. Now, the reason for this exercise is that uh, we've got a couple of uh, RAM cards down here. You can just grab them like so and pull them on out. So, let's do that. Because we have some glorious new DIMMs to bring this machine out to 16 gigabytes. If we can just get this stuff off. Technology you can manage plastic apparently not so much. Okay, is okay. Now I'm going to remove, remove the existing dims. Popping the clips off to each side. If uh, you're doing 
some combination of DIMMs, maybe putting four, four gig DIMMs in, uh, then it becomes important where you put them. The two would go onto the first card, and two would go onto the second one, and that gets into a whole lot of Apple weirdness. That doesn't mean anything to me, because right now we're going to populate all of them. We'll fill this card, then remove the other one, and fill it as well. Check. Okay, we we'll turn him to place, wherever that place was. Yeah, there he goes. Slides happily in position. Yes. Okay. You are a filthy beast, aren't you? of dims in these because they don't even match. So once again we clean it up. Okay, replace the side. Two bones up, I don't know. I guess. And let's find out if it still works. That's got to be a good sign. The Apple Chime has meaning. If there's a hardware problem, uh, it will make a uh, Discord and 
some engineers apparently uh, can can tell the problem by hearing the sound. Sounds like hocus pocus to me, but it could be true. <coughs> This is looking exceptionally incredible. So here we go for the payoff about this Mac. 16 gigabytes. <laughs> so phase the first of the case study is now uh, completed. And this should permit uh, running more stuff at the same time and uh, it'll make uh, Second Life run better. It loves memory. Um, and all good stuff like that. As you saw, it's a relatively easy uh, procedure. And, well, it is in a uh, desktop machine of uh, this nature. Uh, laptop, you better have good eyes, very good eyes. So I'm really thankful that the case study is on a on a big machine rather than a little one. So hopefully you got a kick out of that. So of that, the, the project is absolutely in motion. <laughs>